Hi, welcome to another video. Um, this video, I'm going to answer a question that um, a friend has put to me. I asked her if she had any questions about the elemental realm or anything that she wants to ask to, yeah, to let me know. So her question was, how may we work more in collaboration with the elementals in order to co-create a more harmonious relationship with our environment? <clears throat> So, um, I haven't tuned into this yet, so I'm just going to do it here and now and see what, see what comes through. So, I'm just inviting in my connection to the elementals and just beginning to feel, to feel them. And um, so, the image that I get at the moment is all these beautiful little beings all around uh, my feet kind of at ground level so all these little little beings and I get these sort of like fairy energy that I kind of see around me as well and the last few days like I've been seeing in the in my house um, with my physical eye I've kind of been seeing this sort of wispy light and it's about sort of this big and I've been feeling I want to call it a her so she feels like a fairy and um i feel like she's here to work with me at the moment yeah i feel really emotional when i say that like i can when i feel truth it can come through as a sense like like i want to cry or there's just an, a, a movement of emotion so so actually i was i was feeling i was tuning into her this morning and and sort of asking her about who she was and um, yeah she then showed me that she isn't just this little small being but that she's this really big over lighting energy of of the landscape as well and when I see that landscape it's like an idyllic English rolling hills and oh here comes my cat again Ro rolling hills and beautiful trees and running water and yeah it's just really beautiful so let me just feel into into these beings so firstly they're saying um so this is my my cat spot i think she seems to want to get in the videos as well at the moment so firstly they're saying that if you want to work with them then um then Firstly, I'm hearing like to make the time, like even if it's just um, within your meditation space or just just beginning to create that intention within yourself that you want to work with them, that you want to collaborate with them. Yeah, they're saying call them in, create friendship with them. Drop into your heart space. So the the way into the elemental realm is through the heart, and it's and it's um, through perception. It's like it's the inner realm. So um, you'll be uh, accessing what seems like your imagination and be experiencing these beings through your your inner sight. So there's cultivating a level of trust towards yourself that what you're receiving is really the elemental realm so you really have to learn to trust yourself and trust your intuition trust your inner vision and um yeah really dropping into that space of innocence of childlike wonder um love acceptance yeah all those kind of like higher qualities that we really aspire to it's like we to, to connect to the elemental realms we really have to really have to come into a space of love and innocence and childlike wonder and magic and, and believe in these things and believe in these things as um, high virtues you know like is that the right words like th these are really important qualities to be cultivating at this time um, they really encourage us to come out of a space of being so serious. They invite playfulness. So when we want to work with them, these are the qualities that we want to be um, 
experiencing within our vibration and um, we want to be emanating that so um, a simple way to do that is to is to drop into your body firstly you really so important to drop into your body and you can do that by closing your eyes turning your attention inwards and really just focusing on the sensation within your body and then bringing your attention to your heart center I'm hearing, placing your feet firmly on the ground as well. So we want this rooted, deep, like we're connecting into earth energy here. So we really want to be rooted. We want to be grounded. So maybe, yeah, placing both feet on the ground with this intention of being rooted. You can send roots down from your base, from your heart. Just having this intention to be grounded, to be in the earth to be ready to connect with the earth beings and you can breathe all of these qualities that you wish to cultivate into your heart center so you breathe them in on the in breath and on the out breath just imagine that you're sending out those vibrations from your heart center as well and so you can do that with your intention to connect with them as well so it's like you're becoming this beacon beacon of light that is inviting this connection in Okay, so I'm just going to see if there's anything else that they're saying about how to work with them, and how to collaborate with them. So I'm hearing that just to know that it's a journey, that, that once you start opening to this realm and connecting in, that you will then go on a journey and you will begin to cultivate your connection and your friendship and yeah you'll learn how to listen and learn how to discern um, their energies their communications what else is there anything else that they want to say So working with the elemental energies is really, um, so it's like really making the choice that you want to be here as well. Whoa, I feel, wow, I really feel the truth of that. Okay, so, wow, that's, that's quite a lot. That's, that has quite a big impact when I say that. Yeah. I think for many of us that are light workers, that are connected in to our spiritual journeys, there's a lot of a lot of us are finding it very difficult to be here at the moment, or to, or some people are. Some people are having a really great time. The more you get, the more you receive yourself, and f the deeper you fall in love with yourself, the more fun this journey is right now at this time. So they're really encouraging that. It's like, do you really want to be, it's like really making that choice, like I really want to be here and I really want to make a difference and I really want to be of service and be on my path and yeah. So it really is about grounding and rooting and being in your heart and making that choice to be here. Okay. What else is there? So cultivating your love of the earth, really dropping into seeing her as the conscious being that she is, having respect and honouring her and honouring all life on earth and honouring each other as well, having and accept, accepting everybody where they are even if they choose to see and perceive things differently. Like all of these different qualities help to drop us into a space where we can begin to perceive these other realms. You know, it's about becoming lighter in our frequency and more joyful and more open. Um, 
yes, the other my other cat Monty totally agrees with that. Um, okay, is there anything else? So this is, the question was, I'm just going to check on the question again, you know, it's kind of like specifically to do with in order to co-create a more harmonious relationship with our environment. So we have to come into a harmonious relationship with ourselves first. It's like microcosm, macrocosm, you know, it's like we have to see ourselves as Gaia in a way it's like we have to honor and love ourselves as part of this creation and love and honor the earth and you know one is both energies are the same energy so if we want to impact our environment um, to create a more harmonious environment, we have to become harmonious within ourselves. And so how do we do that? So, so I'm getting the sense of like, how then do we call in the elemental beings to help us? If we call in the elemental beings to help us. We just do that. We call them in and they, and they help. You know, they help they help to align our frequency, they help to, they teach us lessons, they'll bring us things, they'll bring us information, guidance, books. It's being open to reading as well the signs of nature and the signs of life. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, learning learning to read the symbols that life gives you because that is also the elementals working with us as well. And the thing is, it's like the more we more we drop into our beings and become the truth of who we came here to be, then we just naturally begin to hear and learn how to act upon the inspiration that comes to us from these realms. <sighs> Is there anything else that specifically wants to come through? So I'm just hearing again, it's like, it's a journey. It's one step at a time. And I'm also hearing that love, love is the way that we cleanse and clean and shift and change our environment through love, through the heart center, through this innocence, through the celebration of all the elements. We love the water, we love the air, we love one another, we love ourselves, we love our environment, we love the earth. So we just keep practicing and devoting ourselves to the journey and the path of love and fun and play. Yeah, they were really saying that then. So is there anything else in this moment that wishes to come through? I'm just gonna check my timing. Okay. Okay. So maybe there'll be a part two, I don't know. There's quite a lot in here. I mean it's it's or is it just quite simple? I don't know. But it's an individual journey. So thanks for listening. I hope this is helpful. And if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, share. And I send you so much love and blessings. And um, yeah, just love. Thank you.